How's it going? So today I have partnered up with Bumble Brain Box. If you didn't watch last month's unboxing, Bumble Brain Box is a company for kids and they make toys geared and centered around your child's development. And I'm going to unbox for you November's box. As you guys already know from last month, I get my boxes with a little discount. And if you use my code, which I have down below, then I get an additional discount. But you guys already know, I don't show you guys things that I don't genuinely like. And I'm so excited to show you this box. I follow this company on Instagram and they always post the box that they're going to send before they send it. And I saw it on Instagram and it was so cute. And they've already posted the one for Christmas and oh my gosh, it is so adorable. I love all the little activities. I cannot wait to get this box in the mail. It's just so cute. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start unboxing this. I'm going to do this unboxing a little differently this month because I've already done one before. Uh, this month I am going to briefly describe one activity on the cards because these cards, that it's in this envelope, uh, it explains each toy and an activity you could do with the toy, but it gives you more than one activity. So instead of reading to you the entire card, I am just going to read you one activity so that I don't sound like I'm, you know, rambling on and on. As always, you get your little book that comes with every box. It goes into further detail about the activities and everything like that. And I also got a toddler assessment. And it just has questions for all five areas of development. Emotional, social, auditory, physical, and cognitive. It's not like a real, real assessment where, you know, you have to panic if something's wrong with your kid. It's just to give you like a brief idea of what your child is doing and how they're doing. So the first one is the magic mushroom. And this is for physical. And it's this little mushroom right here. And it turns on. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. And it changes color. And I think this is so cute. <laughs> I love this little mushroom. And one of the activities that it has is that when you turn it on, you go through the different colors and you say it with your child, like red, green, blue, that kind of thing. The next activity is Zoo Trip. And this is auditory. And this is the little toy that goes with that. And it also comes with this little card right here. It's got all the different animals on it, and this is the little toy, and it makes a sound. <laughs> and what you do is that you point to each of the animals with this little toy, and you go through the sound and what that animal is and what this animal is. And Carly is really going to love this activity. I could already tell because she loves animals, <laughs> and she's going to love this little card. And this little toy here will even be fun for Andy when baby Andy gets here. She'll squeeze on it. She'll like this too. So this can actually be versatile for all of my kids. And the next activity is Family Feast, and this is for social. And I kind of really like this one because it comes with finger puppets. Look at this. There's a grandpa and a grandma and a dad and a mom and a sister and a brother. And in this one, you go through each of the puppets and you say grandma, grandpa, and it comes with this little card, this little Thanksgiving card. And with the puppets, you can like pretend to eat the food or you could just go through each of the family members. I just think this is really cute. Carly is really going to like these puppets. She's going to have a blast with this one. She might not use the card, but the finger puppets itself, she's really going to like this. I can already tell. McKinley will probably like this too. The next activity is family tree, and this is emotional. And it comes with this little, it feels like felt, this little tree right here. And what you do is you print off pictures of you and your family and you put it on the tree and you just go through each of the family members' names. If they're a little bit older of a kid, you can go through and explain how everybody's related. You could do it for distant family. I'm going to be really honest. Carly probably won't do this one and McKinley definitely won't. She's too little. But I still think it's a really cute activity. It's just not one that I don't think my kid will do. But that is the activity for emotional. And the last activity is building blocks and this is cognitive and my girls are gonna like this one too. It comes with, oh, it comes with this little thing right here. And what you can do is you go through like each of the colors or each of the uh, letters and you go through like what they are like A, B, C, or you can go through and say, find me the green A or the yellow B, or you could just like take them apart, put them back together. That's what Carly's gonna like. Carly's gonna love putting these back together and pulling them apart and all that. And she's at an age where she's starting to understand her letters a little bit. She's better with numbers. Carly is only two and a half and she only knows her numbers to 10 and she doesn't know hardly any of her letters, but this will help. So 
I kind of like this. And I love that it's small and it's just right for her hand. And I can't wait to see her play with this. McKinley will just like pulling it apart and putting it back together, <laughs> probably. But I will still work with her on early letter recognition anyway. So I'm excited for this one too. And that is the Bumble Brain Box unboxing for November. If you want to use my code, it is down there in my description bar so you can try this out for yourself. Their December box looks so cute. I can't wait to get it and play with it with the girls. If you want to follow me on social media, I have all of my links down below. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I will see you guys tomorrow in the next vlog. Bye!